Hey guys, I'm so excited to be back and what better way to kick things off than with some New Year's resolutions. If you're looking to be stress-free when dinner time rolls around, it's all about the plan and the prep. It's especially important when you're trying to stick to those healthy eating resolutions. So hang out with me today and I'll take you through my process and share my favorite tips for making feeding our family a breeze. This video is sponsored by Simple Truth. All right, true meal prep all starts with meal planning. The key is I have 10 recipes that I consider go-tos and I make some variation of three of them each week. No shame in my repeat game. I try to limit the number of nights I'm cooking to, I don't know, three or four, and then I do a combination of leftovers and takeout to fill in. And since they're home, I like to involve my kids, or at least they like to involve themselves. Salad, yes! <laughs> I wonder what's gonna be for dinner Thursday night. Obviously, my favorite. Oh, okay. Make that unfried chicken list sandwiches, and we have a deal. Bye, have a good day. Bye. Upstairs, that's cool. Now that I'm free of distractions, it's time to go shopping from my kitchen. This year, I started grocery shopping online regularly, and I think it's a habit that's here to stay. It saves time, I can check my pantry as I'm ordering, and no more unhealthy impulse buys. No matter your dietary preference, shopping affordable, natural, and organic foods is easier than ever with Simple Truth. Just order for pickup or delivery from your local Kroger family store. Whew, 15 minutes of planning and shopping, and I'm feeling accomplished. While I wait for my groceries, I like to do a quick kitchen clean. It helps so much later when you're prepping if you don't already have a stack of dirty dishes. Okay, groceries are here and now is when the real work happens. I highly recommend popping in some headphones and rocking out to some music or a podcast. This is the time to multitask like the boss you are. Unpack your groceries and sanitize as needed. Put away anything super perishable, but supplies that need to be prepped, we're gonna tackle them right now. Make sure you have clean hands, then wash your fruits and veggies. I like to use good old soap and water and things like Simple Truth apples, and even for stuff you'll peel like cucumbers. I use straight water on my berries and then lay them out to dry. Don't mock me, it's all about the presentation. You can add a little white vinegar to your water if you don't go through berries quickly, but that's definitely not an issue here. Tizzy. Can't really blame her though. Next, you wanna cut anything that needs to be cut. I'm using lettuce in a salad this week, so I'm going to cut, wash, and dry some of it really well. I line reusable bags with a dry paper towel. This really sucks up any extra moisture and keeps your lettuce fresh and crisp. A bunch of my recipes also use onions, so I quarter, peel, and chop them in a food processor. No tears here, and super quick. I just keep them in glass storage containers, which don't absorb all those smells. Another great thing to prep ahead is a big batch of salad dressing. I add extra virgin olive oil, orange juice, some apple cider vinegar, honey for sweetness, and some cumin and salt. Shake that up and you've got a delicious salad dressing ready to go. Back to the fruit that we left drying, or what's left of it, I like to start by making some freezable smoothie bags because if you follow me on Instagram, you know we eat them all the time. For these bags, I start with fruit from last week that's not at its finest, then I add the newer fruit along with any bonus ingredients. I also like to freeze some berries and bananas separately by sticking them on a parchment lined baking sheet in a single layer so they don't stick together. Pop them in the freezer and you have a really great snack. Speaking of snacks, wait, did you guys know that cotton candy was invented by a dentist? Huh. Because we're repeating dinners more frequently, I really try to keep snacks interesting for the kids. I get new options as often as they can and I keep them accessible so they can serve themselves. All right, the prep is done. Let's get cooking with three highlights of the week. First up is our salad. I transfer my chopped lettuce to a bowl. Looks like that paper towel did its job. I add some pistachios, pomegranate seeds, avocado, and then my secret weapon, an already roasted chicken. You can also grill some chicken breasts or fish. Drizzle on your prep salad dressing and you have a super repeatable salad because you can change up the nuts, fruits, and proteins that you use. 
Another quick dinner in a rotation are these unfried chickenless sandwiches. I'm starting with Emerge plant-based chicken grinds, which I love because they're wheat protein based. I'll add some of the pre-chopped onion, and then pro tip, pick up some already peeled garlic and use a garlic press. No smelly fingers. Add onion powder, garlic powder, and turmeric to the grind, and then mix it up and form your patties. You'll need a wet mixture of oat milk and dill pickle juice, and then a dry mixture of panko, flour, onion powder and garlic powder, and some paprika. Mix that up, and then bring everything back together. You're gonna take your patties, dip them into the panko mixture, then your wet mixture, back into the panko so it's nice and crunchy, and you're all set and ready to go. Heat some oil in your pan and pan fry these puppies up. Slide a patty onto a bun, add some veggies, and then I mixed up a quick spread with vegan mayo, Dijon mustard, and a splash of pickle juice. So good. Finally, a little sweet treat. Grab those frozen bananas and then throw them either into a blender or a food processor. Add a splash of Simple Truth oat milk and puree until smooth. Drizzle in some maple syrup and give it another whirl. I personally love to add a dash of cinnamon, some Simple Truth walnuts, and vegan chocolate chips. It's a creamy, healthy treat that's kid approved. A plus. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, buddy. That is a lot of food in a short time, which leaves us more time to eat a healthy dinner as a family. This is good. How was soccer, buddy? Good. Good. That's all I get? <laughs> now, if only fast motion worked for dinner dishes. <laughs> this video was sponsored by Simple Truth, found exclusively at the Kroger family of stores.